Hi. Uh, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, so we don't have enough time left, so we can go through these slides quickly. Um, I'm Dev, Dev Chen from Intel. Um, today I'm uh, want to go into through metadata in Cinder. I could also with uh, Travis, Duncan, and David Lai to present the topic. So thanks guys for joining this topic. Um, this is today's agenda. First, we'll uh, talk something about the motivation, why we want to do this. And uh, we are going to introduce some uh, use cases. So uh, in this use case, we will see why we need this feature in the Cinder. And uh, we will go through some, uh, uh, some works we have done in the Horizon and the Cinder, and then give some conclusion. Uh, and uh, we will provide a concrete example how to fix the problem, how it works. Okay. Uh, this is an uh, 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 issue I, I actually get from the um, OpenStack uh, Bagazina. Uh, so see from this, this problem we can know that if we, uh, a operator may face the problem like this, he has a portable volume. He just want to uh, put some instance from this, this volume. Um, but uh, sometimes he want, want to put the same instance uh, in the different virtualization environment. So he needs to change the, uh, some properties like VIF model into the E1 sound. So, but currently you can do that because there is no approach uh, to support to do that. You cannot specify this uh, metadata, or we can see that the properties in the cinder. Um, something behind this is uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, you know that cinder volume actually holds different kinds of metadata: uh, image metadata, volume metadata, and admin metadata. So uh, when we create a portable volume, uh, some image properties or we say image metadata is copied from the Gans's images into the uh, Cinder's bootable volume, right? So this uh, image metadata will be served as the same purpose as the image, as the metadata in the Gans to, uh, so to use it as the controlling of the VM booting or scheduling, something like that. And uh, we know that, that the image metadata is used in various uh, scenarios. We'll talk some details about that in the following slides. And uh, actually, the problem we just mentioned can be solved easily by uh, uh, set the VF model in the glance image. Then we can create a new portable volume from that, uh, that image. Right, so, but the, the, the issue is that if you have, have, have done something in this portable volume and you have a lot of data set, stored in that portable volume, actually you cannot use that data anymore. This is the big problem if you have a lot of work did in that portable volume. Um, so, the main the, the, the problem we mentioned here is just the, you need some uh, uh, approach to update image metadata in the portable volume. Or you can customize some semantic meanings to the portable volume, give some different meaning to this portable volume, such as you can customize some uh, OS shutdown time. You can control how long uh, it should wait before we perform uh, gracefully shutdown some guests. Um, currently, what we can do in the Cinder is we can just uh, use the uh, uh, command list here to uh, change some uh, volume metadata. So this is not what we want. Is this is not not no one looking for. Um, uh, the first command here you can use just uh, uh, such as like uh, something like create or update some uh, volume metadata. And the second command you can use to delete some uh, volume, uh, volume metadata. But uh, what we want is we should also leverage the uh, capability to modify some things in the image metadata to um, 
to match some uh, specific requirement from, from end user. Um, um, someone may, 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 may argue that we, we can do that in, uh, in some alternatives, such as uh, uh, NOAA flavors, or we can control in the glance imager, right? Um, yes, uh, NOAA flavors can, can do that. It, it can uh, use it to control NOAA booting when, when you can give some, uh, uh, con configure some, some flavors. So you can, you know, I will consume this, these flavors and I will know how to do when they are booting. Uh, but uh, after digging into the source code, we will know that Nova actually uh, will override this customization from the Nova flavors by the image metadata. So we will know that if we just do that using Nova flavor, it's not enough. And another uh, approach is we can just use a uh, glance to do that. You know that uh, glance maintain image, and uh, we can do that in the glance, and uh, we have the capability to control this image metadata in the uh, glance. But uh, as we just mentioned, we want to use uh, some existing bootable volume. We, we, we don't want to lose the data we stored in that volume, right? Um, so we talk a lot about the image metadata. So you may uh, want to know where this image metadata consumed. Why we want to do that? Where this this is why this is needed? Um, here is some here is some uh, um, concrete example. The first uh, user case is the watchdog. Uh, actually, watchdog is a feature that. Uh, uh, you can use the watchdog uh, to uh, uh, control some behaviors about about the guest. Uh, watchdog keep eyes on these guests and will c carry out some specified actions when the server harm. These actions in, actions include you can power off the instance and uh, you can pause the instance, right? Uh, so this, from this piece of code, we will know that the first, well, you are trying to look, look at the value uh, from the uh, NOAA flavors. But if we have the same properties defined in the image metadata, it then mean it will override some behaviors defined by the NOAA flavor. And uh, th th this is actually the overflow uh, of both instance. Um, when you click some buttons in the horizon, it will run some instance for you, and some um, some approach, some uh, some functions such as uh, run instance, build instance, and well, it will spawn instance. And uh, the last step is we are trying to generate some libert libert dot xml file. This file is is needed by the um, NOAA. No, no, needed by the libreword. It will use it will use this 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 config file to launch instance. So, um, uh, you know that uh, image metadata is the one source to to create this libreword.xml. So, uh, it will read some properties defined in the image metadata and. Uh, and uh, it will put in this, this uh, value into the libreword.xml. So it will control how it will do, how, how it will do when you want to launch an instance. Uh, another use case is a host filtering. Uh, when host pa pass passes, you, we will know whether the host can be added to the candidate list, right? Um, it will check some uh, uh, property like uh, Architecture, the hypervisor type, and the VM mode. So only this requirement matches match the requirement, matches the match the requirements. We can add this computer node into the candidate list. So this is the reason why we need uh, the the capability to modify some uh, properties defined in the image properties. 
you will see it will actually uh, read the value architectures, hypervised type, and uh, VM mod from image metadata. Uh, uh, as we just mentioned, uh, if, if uh, guest is going to shut down, it will give some time before performing grants for the shutdown. So obviously, this, this is should be config configurable. Um, by default, the time is, is uh, 16 seconds, but you should configure the design value by yourself instead of just use the default value. Um, so all we're looking for is some way to update some um, image metadata for the bootable volume as the specific requirement from the end user, right? Uh, this is the overall proposal, overall process, uh, and uh, it's actually is our proposal to do in the both in both Horizon and Cinder. Um, the first step, uh, we, we, we suppose the end user want to create some metadata. It should be um, using the Horizon to do that. And uh, Horizon will actually invoke some APIs from Cinder. And Cinder will going to check whether the user has the permission to do that. So we define the module as property protections. And we also explain the module into two parts. The first part is the rule based access control, and the second part is policy based control. We'll, we will talk details about this in the following slides. And uh, actually, it was looking for uh, the user's role from the key to to find whether the user has the uh, access right with that, these properties. Uh, of course, you can do that in the horizon, but uh, uh, you can also use some uh, Cinder client to do that. So we provide some command to do that, just like the command used to modify no uh, volume metadata. So you know that the first command here can be used to uh, updates or create uh, the image properties or image metadata, and then the second command can be just used to delete the properties. Um, this is in the API. Um, we propose to define some APIs in the Cinder. Uh, this API is used to uh, create and update the, the image metadata. And uh, you will see that uh, for this API, we'll pass both the name and the value of uh, the image metadata into the body of the request. And uh, we expand the same response from in the, in the body of the response. Uh, this API can be used to delete some um, um, metadata you don't want to use. So it will mark this uh, metadata as the deleted. Uh, you can check that from the database or whatever. Uh, so for this API, you can just pass in the name of the properties and uh, you will expand the empty response with uh, 200 as the response codes. So that means you can uh, you have uh, done that successfully. Um, next, we're going to talk something about uh, property protections. So why we need this in the Cinder? So um, you know that uh, uh, Glance has some rule, rule or policy-based access control to the image properties. So why we do that in the Cinder? This is because uh, the in the, the bootable volume is actually created from the imager. So we can, we can um, change some, some, uh, some image properties inherited from, from the uh, glance. So uh, if we don't check uh, the user's rights, it, you can also upload the bootable volume into the image. So this will, this will violate some the billing policies for the uh, image. 
So this is the reason why we need to need the pro property partitions in also in the cinder. So how to do that in cinder? We supposed to provide two type of uh, uh, property partitions. The first is row based, and the second is policy based. Um, this is a sample configurations for the row based property partitions. Um, um, you just use it to protect some some. Uh, metadata like SPR create properties and uh, SPR read properties and uh, here we define some actions and uh, the uh, associated rules and uh, this is the uh, uh, concrete configuration we use it to uh, control the control uh, the access to the metadata like uh, bidding codes so from this configuration, we will know that the user who has a role at, at me, you can do whatever to that metadata. You can create, update, or delete, whatever. But if you have a, just a guest, so you can just read the properties. Um, this is uh, some configuration if we want to use that. Uh, we, so the first step, you should configure cinder.conf. You define, you should define the property files as the as the property partition.conf, and you should also define the raw format as rows and copy this file into the etc slash cinder slash directory, and you should create the raw. Uh, the the raw should be matched uh, with the uh, uh, the raw defined in the in the key store. Uh, and then you can run the command to do updates or, or create or, or whatever to that that, that metadata. Um, policy based uh, property con control uh, the, for for this type of property control is is basically the same as the raw based property control but is based on the Oslo policies. So uh, from this uh, configuration, uh, we can see that besides we define some actions for for each property, so we also should define the policies for each actions, and we should also define these um, policies in policy JSON to net uh, to use also low policies capability to check check this check his. Uh, uh, check whether he can he can do that, and uh, this is a sample sample configuration for OS shutdown time. Um, from this configuration, you you will see that we define the policies in the create for uh, the actions create and read, and we also define these policies in the policy JSON just as the description column. And uh, this is the step we, want, we, we should do to use the policy-based property control. Uh, the first step, you also, you, sim, sim, similarly, the first step, you should define the protection files as the protection policy.conf, and you also should define the raw format as policies and copy this file to the directory. And you should create policies. Um, the, for the policies, you should first use, using, uh, create a user. And uh, you should uh, assign some uh, rules, such as guest or admin, for this use user. And you should properly define the protection policies.conf. And you also define the policies in the policy.json. This is used by the Oslo policies. And uh, then you can run, just run the command to update the, that uh, image metadata. Uh, this is what we want to do in the horizon. So it will make, make it easier to, for you to just uh, connect some uh, buttons on, on some, some things like that in the horizon. And you can do all these things and let it down in the behind. Uh, for, for, from this slide, you will see that we can 
just click up, update metadata for the, this bootable volume, and then it will, there will be a Windows popped up. In this Windows, uh, you can type in, you can pass, type in the, the name of the image metadata, and you can just define the value as you want uh, from this window. Uh, uh, actually, this, this uh, property has been provided in Horizon, but uh, uh, we should also can be, we should also create some uh, uh, properties which is not listed here. That means you can customize some, some properties as a specific requirement. Um, let's put it all together. So um, first, uh, the user want to uh, set some uh, property like uh, OS shutdown time. We can just uh, do that in the horizon. So horizon we invoke some REST APIs in Cinder. Well, Cinder will uh, store this value in that in the portable volume, and then uh, when Noah put the instance this properties or this Im image property, image metadata is copied from the volume into the table of the NOAA. Actually, it's the instance system metadata. And uh, then uh, sometimes the user, the user want to just shut down the guest, the NOAA will try to check how, time, how long he should wait before performing uh, grants for shutdown. So here it will, it, it will wait uh, 18 seconds before shut down the guest. Uh, this is the uh, conclusion. First, we want going to change the horizon to expose the metadata. Uh, besides some default pro properties, you can customize the different or uh, or whatever, as, 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 as your specific requirements. And uh, we're also going to change the Cine client, so we can do that in the Cine client by typing some uh, Cine commands. And uh, we propose some REST APIs to update this image metadata. And uh, we're going to provide some property protections to avoid the violation of the policy. Uh, this is uh, oh, what I want to talk. So, any questions about this? So, what are the steps to get into this into the record? Um, you mean? Sorry. So it's, it's not yet planned. So, what are the chances of uh, getting it into the record? Um. Yeah, we, we it uh, will read when we um, when it's trying to generate libword.xml, it will try to read these properties. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? Open 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 Okay, it's a nice feature, and now I understand how, how important it is, but uh, what are the chances of getting it in, into the next release? So into Liberty OpenStack. Um, sorry, I... I Dave, isn't the code already ready and it's an issue of getting approval for the blueprint for merge? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 
So we essentially need all your vote to get it merged into, I mean, get the blueprint approved so it would help if you say we need it. But the code's ready, and Dave pretty much had it ready for Kilo itself, but we never got the let's do it kind of thumbs up sign. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.